Hey, what's up guys? Just wanted to do a quick vid on uh, the Fetchark faceplate fan mod. So, mine wasn't working and I opened it up and I found out that you see that one that uh, has like some coating on it? Well, that's because uh, it had bent upwards and it was touching the top part. I was touching this top part and it was stopping it from actually spinning. So I opened it up, I saw that, and uh, I fixed it by putting some conformal coating on there. Hopefully it holds up for a while. But also I wanted to do something about the stupid button because I live in Florida and uh, the humidity always gets in, in through the faceplate. It always gets humid. And so I wanted the fan to always be on. I don't want to deal with this button bolt crap. So I just opened it up and uh, I saw the positive where it was and the negative where it was. Alright, so the positive was all the way over here at the end. At the end right there, you can see where my finger is not covering. And so you just have to remove it there and put it to the top part of the of the circuit board, which is where your positive would go in. And the negative, it was like right there, in that spot right there. And you just put it on the bottom of the balance lead. I'm assuming that uh, there's a 5 volt regulator on there. So what will happen is that uh, whatever voltage you're inputting will be the voltage the fan will work. I don't know, hopefully the fan doesn't bust up with the voltage from a 2S. Which it probably won't, it will probably be safe and uh, it will give more airflow. But uh, before I upload the video I'll test it and see if it's good or not. And depending on that I'll upload the video or not. Alright guys, well, that's about it for now. Maybe I'll make another follow-up after this. But I'll see you guys later. Oh, and one other thing. Super exposed. So, the little plate that goes on here, which is that one right there. It's held on together by screw on the other side. So you're going to have to peel part of the this uh, tape, whatever you call it to get at it and then there's gonna be four screws on uh, on the top plate for the fan that you'll remove just in case maybe your fan is stuck I just remove those and once you have that it's kind of a pain in the ass to get the fan out of there but there's no extra screws holding it you just have to uh, pull this out it's hard to point just have to pull this out Make sure there's enough room for wires to go in. Pull it out and then push it, push at it from the bottom, the fan, and it will come right off after some attempts because it's just held on there by magnets. So when you're putting the wires back, you're going to want to put it in between uh, that diode, which is the yellow thing, the yellow box, and the button. Just put it in between there and then there's a gap around here where you put it and then it's going to go under the circuit board back and then it's going to go through and make sure that when you're putting the wires back because uh, when you ex when you take out the fan you're going to need to extend the wires out and that's going to move them from the gaps that are in here there's two gaps just make sure you align the two wires along the gap lines till it gets to the circuit board and then after that you just uh, you know screw up the the screw into that little casing and uh, you're done